Hi everyone, my name is Sophie and I am a member of Women's Engineering Society and part of the Younger Members Board and I'm also an electronic engineer. So we are doing a set of STEM challenge videos throughout 2018. We are going to be posting one every week um, and we will be posting them on a Friday so that you can go away at home, watch the video and then get some of the materials, hopefully mostly from around your house and try them out over the weekend. And this is all in aid of the year of engineering this year. So this kind of came about when I was at work one day, um, just before Christmas, and found this set of challenge cards from the James Dyson Foundation, just in a cupboard at work. And there happened to be, two, be 52 STEM challenges. And I thought, perfect, we can try them out. So this week I'm going to be building an electric motor with you. So to build an electric motor you will need one AA battery, you will need a screw, um, I've got this length screw, two and a half inches maybe and it's just made out of steel, just needs to conduct electricity and a length of wire as well. Um, the wire that I've got is copper wire and it's insulated with plastic. You should be able to get something like this in your, from your garage perhaps. And you need a magnet as well. Um, to do this you really need a neodymium magnet and you can get these available, yeah, they're, they're from any website really that you can find online. So I have had a look and I managed to find that for a pack of 10 of these magnets, you will pay about £4. Um, this size is 15mm by 2mm and it worked really well for this challenge. I tried it with the same, same shape magnet but a weaker magnet, the type that you would find um, on the back of a fridge magnet for instance, um, and it just wasn't strong enough to hold up the weight of the screw, so you really do need one of these type of magnets. Um, and when you're working with these magnets you need to be quite careful because they are quite strong. It's easy to pinch your skin if they suddenly ping together. Okay, so it's really simple. All you have to do is take your magnet and I'm going to use this screw here. It's got a piece of paper on it just um, so that when we do the challenge you can, you can see the effect that happens on the video. So you take the screw and you attach it to your magnet like this. So it's just to the flat part of the magnet. Uh, then you need to take your battery and your wire and with the bare end of your wire um, you just need to hold the wire to the top of the, the battery. So uh, on the positive end you have like a little bobble on the end of the battery so just hold the wire down onto that and then once you've got that held in place, you need to take your screw and your magnet and hopefully not stick them together, but just stick the end of the screw to the end of the battery like that, so that it hangs. Okay, so now to, to let current flow through the whole circuit, we need to place this end of the wire just on the edge of the magnet and you'll see what happens. So you should be able to see now that the screw and the magnet are, are spinning. I'll just slow it down and show you again so you can see that. Okay. So we'll just touch the wire to the edge of the magnet and it speeds up. And the longer that you hold it on there for, the more it will speed up as well. Okay, so how is this working? I've drawn some diagrams to explain this. So one of the first things that you need to understand is Fleming's left hand rule for motors. So that looks like this and it is simple, although it doesn't look it initially. So what, what Fleming found was 
that when you have a current flowing through an, a magnetic field, it actually creates a force. Um, and it's you can use your left hand to explain that. So if the current is your middle finger and the field is your first finger, the direction of the force is where your thumb points. Okay. And you can look this up as well to help you. So it's, you just have to hold your hand in like this, like, like a set of axes. Okay. So that's, a, that's the whole principle of how it works. So in the setup that we have, we've got a magnet that looks a bit like this. And if the North Pole is here and the South Pole is here, then we know that the magnetic field lines will flow from the North and then scoop round and come back to the South. So um, in the instance of where we have our screw attached to the magnet here, we actually have a ma all the magnetic field along the, the magnet edge is kind of pointing upwards like this. So in the setup that we've got, we have a battery and a screw and then the magnet and then it's all joined up by this piece of wire here. So because in the setup that we had, the positive of the battery was here and the negative was here, the current was flowing around the circuit like this. And if you notice, it has to go from the screw to the magnet to the wire. So in this region here, the current is flowing directly along this way. And the magnetic field, if you've got the North Pole at the top and the South Pole at the bottom, the magnetic field will be going upwards like this. So then we can use this um, Fleming's left hand rule to say the magnetic field is going upwards and the current is going along this way then the force will be coming out of the page. Um, and because it's a magnet that's circular and it's attached to this battery, um, the force will, it will pull the mag this side of the magnet out um, and then cause it to rotate as you keep going round. So in this setup here with the battery aligned how it is and the magnet aligned how it is, the magnet should spin in a clockwise direction. Okay, so I think you could try this out at home. You can see how it works and using this rule, you can figure out what way round your magnet is um, and you can try it out with different ways of the battery and see um, by changing the flow of the current, what way round the magnet and the screw will spin. So please do try this out at home. and We'd love to see your videos of you trying it out. Um, there'll be some hashtags in, in the comments section on the, the YouTube um, post and also when we post this onto Twitter and onto Instagram there'll be some hashtags there as well that you can use um, if you want to post your own videos so that we can catch up with what you're doing as well. So thank you so much for listening to this video and please do try it out at home and look out for next week's um, STEM challenge which Yasmin will be presenting. So thank you very much and goodbye.